Hey everybody and welcome to episode 194 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're going to be looking at a module called Touch Icons. You might not be too familiar with what Touch Icons are, but what they basically are is they allow when a user is using an iOS device and they bookmark a certain web page, it's the icon that would appear on their home screen. So it's a module that definitely kind of gets overlooked, but a module that really is helpful being that iOS adoption is so high. So we're going to take you through kind of what that means and how that kind of looks um, once it's done. So there's a few ways to go about doing this. I'm going to show you all three ways that I know. I'm sure there's others, but these three definitely work. So there is a Drupal module that will handle almost all of this for you, and it's the Touch Icons module. So what this module basically does is it allows you to upload this Apple Touch icon to a distinct place and then it will reference that when a user wants to add that as a bookmark on their mobile device. So that module is pretty easy to get installed so just download the zip file. Again I'm using 1.0 beta 2. Make sure if you are watching this at a later date you're using the same version. It looks like it hasn't been updated in a few years but um, it might change you never know so just make sure to double check that. So once you get the module installed we can come over to our website here and get it enabled. So right there we're going to enable it. We'll make sure we save it. And there's no configuration you'll see on that page specifically. Um, when you do enable the touch icons module it will appear under your individual theme that you're using. So to modify that we can go under appearance and then use your theme that you're using. We're just using the default Bartic. And then if you scroll to the bottom here, you'll see a field set for iOS touch icons. And there's two different versions in here. There's the iOS touch icon and the iOS touch icon, icon pre-compressed. Basically the difference is, is the pre-compressed version allows you more control over your icon and it doesn't allow iOS to do some special effects with your icon. So that is, if you look at an iOS device, you'll typically see rounded corners and it has like a shadow effect to it. Um, if you upload just to iOS touch icon, it'll do all of that for you. As the module reads here, it adds a rounded corner and a glass effect overlay to the uh, icon, which is kind of nice. But it's always, but some iOS devices don't, um, uh, basically don't allow for this iOS touch icon just by itself, so it's always best to upload both versions um, in your site. So once you get the module installed, then you can easily upload an icon just to the system. So you can click upload icon and you can find an icon. The Here's a little bit of a caveat. The As iOS continues to grow and come out with new versions, it obviously increases the size of the touch icon that's needed. So from a little research I did, the best one you wanted to upload is a 152 by 152 image. And if we have over here real quick, cancel that. You'll see here, here's the Apple touch icon that they're using. And this is obviously specific to Apple. And if we just look at the image real quick, you'll be able to see right there, it says it's 152 by 152 pixels. So that's the icon I would recommend uploading. It's also important to note how they save the icon. You can see here that they save the icon as apple-touch-icon.png. So again, if somebody comes to apple.com and wants to bookmark that page, this icon right here you see what will appear on their um, mobile device um, image. So on their home screen or um, in a folder or whatever, similar to any other app you would download. Okay, so back to the site here. Um, so again, I can just browse out to an icon. I'm just going to pick one that I downloaded here. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this. Again, it's called appletouchicon.png. And I'm going to do the same thing for my pre-compressed. And again, that's the same exact name except for it's got dash pre-compressed on it. And it's a PNG as well. So once I do that, I can save this. And I'll see here that now I have both of these uploaded to my system. There's the one, and there's the other one. So that's all there is to the module, really. So now when somebody would go and add a icon off of our website, this is what would appear, and it would look 
Um, I think I have one up here. It would look similar to this. So I have a little Drupal icon. And again, you can change this and modify that to whatever you'd want. But again, use that 152 by 152 size. So the, the other way I want to show you is, is you actually probably don't need this module necessarily. There's a lot of other ways to do it. Um, it obviously makes it really easy to get that uploaded, especially if you don't have FTP access to your website. So that would be the module I would use. But if you want to do it a different way, you can actually pull up your FTP client. And you'll see here, and you can actually upload these files directly to your um, root directory. So in Drupal, the root directory is the directory in which your index.php file is in. So if we look here under the code folder, we scroll inside of that, you'll see right there it is. Right there it is, there's our index.php. So this is our root folder. So we easily could come over here to our icons that we had before. And this is, again, this on the left side here is my home or local directory. I could go in here and I could drag this Apple Touch dash icon PNG right into my um, root directory. And then so in theory, if I do that, give it a second here. So now if I go to my development site here and I go Apple touch dash icon dot PNG, you'll see it's right there. So that's in my root directory, so it's right there, no folders or anything else needed. And then that's referencing this image or this uh, image right here. So that would work as well as an option. But the problem with that is, is if you have to update Drupal core or do any major updates to your site, that will get erased. So you'd have to redo it again, which again, wouldn't be that big a deal, you'd just have to drop it over again. But let's say you don't want to use the module and you don't want to put it in your root directory. They also, also allow you to um, specify the specific place for the Apple to look for these images. So to do that, all you need to do is you need to come into your, um, let's see here, you need to come into an index file. So I'm just going to pull up one just for the, this maintenance-page.tpl.php file is where the head of the document is located. So that's where we need to tell um, Apple to look for our touch icon. So I want to say, I can just simply add a link here and I can do a rel and I just type in Apple touch icon. So that's what it is. Oops. Okay. And then I can do an href, and then this is exactly, I can tell it where I want it to look. So instead of adding it to my root directory like I did before, I just went in here and I added it to my sites all themes images folder. And you can see I have them both in there. I'm just gonna grab this one, but it's called apple touch icon.png. So if I copy the URL to clipboard, I'm gonna come here and paste that, and I get a lot of stuff I don't need. But if I can go all the way back down to the slash sites folder, so it's going to look in the sites, all themes, images, apple touch icon.png, and then I can close that off right there. And there we go. So now instead of having it to be in the um, root directory, it now can look for it inside of my um, theme, which I don't have to worry about updating and losing going forward. So that is it. So again, guys, there's three different ways to do it. One of them is, again, to two of the ways are to ignore using the module and simply upload to the um, your individual theme right there. Or if you do want, you can upload directly to the root directory. Again, the root directory is located um, right inside your code folder there, um, wherever the index.php file is located. Also, if you do want to use the module, the module works really easily as well. Um, again, all that works off of is your appearance or your theme, and then you can upload your icons right there um, for both pre-compressed and compressed or uncompressed um, Apple icon. Again, it's really important to note that you want to use 152 by 152 size, as in that will work for the different iOS versions, especially the new stuff with iOS 6 and the iOS 6 plus um, versions. So there we go. So that's all there is with the module. Pretty simple. But again, it's a really nice little thing to add for your users, especially if you want them to bookmark it and have your branding be cohesive throughout um, your website. Oh, one thing to note, if you do not have a touch icon, by default, Apple will most likely just do a screenshot of your website. So it kind of ends up looking pretty white and plain. 
um, typically. So it's always nice to have a logo attached to your brand. So anything else, um, if you have any questions about it, make sure to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, make sure to check out Code Karate. We're um, closing in on the finalists, some contests we have going on, as well as check out our courses we have as well, and sign up for our newsletter. We love to hear from you and love to uh, interact. So until next time, have a good one.